In this short tutorial, I'll show you how to use the Lewis model to predict the chemical formula of an ionic compound. Question 1 reads, use the Lewis model to predict the formula for the compound that forms between calcium and chlorine. The first thing we'll do is draw the Lewis symbols for calcium and chlorine based on their respective number of valence electrons. And that's determined by their group number in the periodic table. So what you see underneath is the periodic table and we'll locate calcium, it's right here. And chlorine is found right here, the last group before the noble gases. Now given that calcium is in the second group, we'll write down Ca with two dots, those represent the valence electrons. And of course you can represent these electrons here, down here, or on the left, doesn't really matter. And for chlorine, we have seven valence electrons because it is the final group before the noble gases. So I'll write down chlorine. And of course, if you ever forget, you can just count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Now, given that calcium is a metal, it must lose its two valence electrons to form a complete octet, therefore going from a principal level of four to three while chlorine only needs to gain one electron to obtain an octet. So what we'll do is take away the two electrons from calcium and we'll write down calcium two plus, like this. Notice that we don't have any more electrons around calcium. And we'll draw two chloride anions because we need two chloride ions to satisfy the fact that calcium is losing two. So we'll write down two bracket chlorine with eight electrons and a negative symbol to represent the fact that each chlorine ion lost one electron. Finally, you write the formula with subscripts that indicate the number of atoms. So I'll write down calcium chloride two. Let's move on to question number two. This time we have to use the Lewis model to predict the formula for the compounds that forms between magnesium and nitrogen. Let's locate where magnesium and nitrogen are. Magnesium is right here and nitrogen is right here. This is in the second group and this is in the 15th. So if you count one, two, three, four, five, that indicates how many valence electrons nitrogen has. So using the same scheme as before, we'll write down magnesium with two outer electrons and nitrogen with one, two, three, four, five. Just like calcium, magnesium needs to lose two of its electrons. So it becomes a cation, magnesium two plus, and nitrogen needs to gain three electrons. This is empty, this is empty, and so is this. This is interesting because unlike before, we needed to bring two chlorine anions in the mix. This time, we need to balance this out. So we have two here and three here. If you do a little bit of math, that's like finding a common multiple between two and three. So we have two and three. This is four, six, and multiples of three are six, and we'll stop right there. That means we need three magnesiums, and two nitrogen. And the way I found that is I just counted the amount of numbers until we reached a common one. Therefore, I'll write down three in front of magnesium, and don't forget the square brackets, and we'll write down two bracket nitrogen with a full octet, and each nitrogen ion had to gain three electrons, so I'll write down three minus. Putting this all together, we should have magnesium three, nitrogen two. Notice that these correspond to the subscripts. And there you have it, two examples on how to use the Lewis model to predict the chemical formula for an ionic compound.